This is Scott Ellis, and we're here at CES 2012, and I have something Callie's going to be really jealous of, flying robots. This is GeekBeat. Powered by Ford. Okay, so we're here with Christian at CES 2012, and you're going to show us the AR Drone 2.0. Tell us a little bit about what this is. This looks like a really fun toy. Thanks for having us. Uh, thanks for stopping by. The AR Drone 2.0, is the second version, the second generation of uh, the AR drone that we launched a year and a half to go, a year and a half ago. Sorry, uh, how different is it? So this is a quadricopter with augmented reality, which can be controlled using Wi-Fi from an Apple device or an Android device. So the AR drone, basically, as you can see here, has two cameras, one in the front and one in the bottom, which allows you to stream live video to your device. It means that. Once you've been able to establish a basic ad hoc connection between the AR drone and your device, let's say the iPhone, from there, using the iPhone accelerometers, you're going to be able to control it and to pilot it. Okay, so whether I'm on Android or iOS, um, this will work for me. Now, I know that some things like you know model helicopters and airplanes are very hard for people to control and learn to fly in the very beginning. How hard is this gonna be for somebody that just buys this right out, has never flown something before, picks up their iPad and, a, and an AR 2.0? The AR drone is really easy to use and it's very intuitive. So one of the things that makes it really special is the fact that once you're flying it, if you're not sure where you want to go, if you remove your fingers from your screens, from your device, automatically it's going to stabilize and it's going to hover. Um, the thing that I haven't told you which makes it really unique also is the fact that now, with this camera, we actually changed the camera. We added an HD camera, which is really good with a 720p resolution. And you have the possibility with a new application called FreeFly 2.0 to record and share everything I mean, to record and share videos and photos, so everything that the AR drone will see. And from there, you can go ahead and download it, upload it on, um, on uh, Picasa, upload it on YouTube, and share it with other AR drone users. Okay, so awesome. So I can chase my dog around the backyard with the AR drone and put it up on YouTube, and sure everybody can. can have a good laugh. So this looks like a lot of fun, but what are some of the other ways that people are using it? I mean, I can get it and I can fly it around and chase my cat or my dog, but you know, what else can I do with this besides just uh, you know, fly it around the house? Take a look at the neighbors, just kidding. <laughs> uh, but more seriously, um, AR drone, in AR drone you have AR, AR stands for augmented reality. The augmented reality is the other major aspect of this product. So it means that um, once, you buy, once you buy it, you also have the possibility to purchase some, vis some video games. Uh, $2.99 available on the App Store, available also on the Android market. And from there, if you have an AR drone, I have one, you and I will be able to interact and we'll be able to be, you know, shooting at each other and just have been this, let's say, um, combination of a half, you know, virtual world, real world, and really have fun together. All right, that sounds like fun. Now, what's going to happen if we're in the middle of combat and I shoot your drone down? What's going to happen to your drone? <laughs> Obviously, it looks like you're much stronger than I am, <laughs> so it's going to land automatically. Okay. Very easy to use, easy to control, and um, we're just at the beginning, especially when you think about most of the toys right now are starting to be more and more app-driven. So we're, starting, um, we're just launching a new generation of products, new generation of entertainment device at the end of the day. Awesome. Christian, thank you so much. That's phenomenal. We're going to have to get our hands on one to and try Something out. I haven't mentioned to you guys, so the cost will be $2.99, and okay. it's going to be available during the second quarter. Okay, excellent. Thanks again. Thank you. All right, guys, check it out on geekbeat.tv slash CES 2012 for all of the coverage from CES 2012. Thanks. When you have an electric vehicle, you want to maximize your range, right? Well, the electric vehicle app from Ford helps you do just that. You can actually get charging updates from anywhere. You can check the status. You can see where the nearest charging station is and the most efficient route to get there. The app also estimates the amount of CO2 emissions and the money you save based on your driving style. That'll help you improve efficiency and save money. Thanks so much to Ford for powering our CES coverage.